Now, the Ethics Committee of Football's governing body, FIFA, has banned and battled President Sepp Blatter and his one-time protégé from the sport for eight years. The committee took the action Monday against Blatter and Michel Platini, the head of the Union of European Football Associations. Over a $2 million payment Blatter made to Platini in 2011. Swiss prosecutors have opened a criminal investigation into the payment. Speaking to reporters in Zurich Monday, Blatter proclaimed his innocence. I'm really sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry that I am still somewhere a punching ball, but I'm sorry that I am, as president of FIFA, this punching ball, and I'm sorry for, for football. I'm sorry for the Fédération Internationale de Football Association I'm serving now more than 40 years. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for the 400 plus FIFA team members they are working in FIFA. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. But I'm also sorry about me, how I'm treated in this world of, humanity, of humanitarian qualities. The ban will likely derail Platini's bid to succeed Blatter when elections are held in February. Both men who have denied any wrongdoing are expected to appeal to the FIFA Appeals Committee and the Court of Arbitration for Sport. FIFA has been embroiled in scandal after 14 FIFA, FIFA officials were arrested in Zurich in May and charged in the United States with nearly 50 counts of corruption, including racketeering, wire fraud and money laundering. Joining me in the studio to discuss this matter is Africa 54's own sports guru, Sonny Young. Hello, Sonny. Hello, Lidor. So, Seb Blatter is sorry. This is a very, very uh, strong message there. Uh, what is your reaction to the eight-year ban? Well, I think uh, we saw a defiant Seb Blatter at that news conference uh, at the old FIFA headquarters. Uh, I really think because of this, uh, both Blatter and Platini for all practical purposes, have been sidelined, uh, probably for good, from world football. From a historical perspective, FIFA has been around for more than 100 years. I would say this by far has been the worst year for FIFA in terms of negative publicity. It seems like every week we've been hearing about another corruption scandal, another FIFA official. But I think at this point, uh, FIFA is looking forward to February of 2016. At the end of February, FIFA will elect a new president to succeed Sepp Blatter. And speaking of that election, some people were saying earlier this year that Michel Platini could have been uh, one of the favorites. Now that he's uh, out of the race, at least according to the ruling, uh, who are some of the contenders that are standing out? Well, from an African perspective, Lenore, uh, South Africa has put forth uh, a gentleman by the name of Tokyo Sequale. Uh, it's hard to describe him as a favorite in the election. Uh, Africa has a huge voting block of members, uh, over 50. I think it's a total of uh, 53 or 54 members of FIFA. And that is a huge block. Now, if he was to get all of those uh, behind him, uh, for the election in February, I, I think it would be a big boost, but you're going to need more than that to win the election. You have to win, I think it's uh, over 100 votes. I think it's actually closer to 110 to be officially named the FIFA president. So he'll have to lobby in regions outside of Africa, Europe, probably uh, South America. And so it's a, it's a question mark whether he you know, he will become the first African uh, leader of FIFA. Yeah. One possible uh, contender, uh, he, his name is mentioned a lot, is uh, Prince Ali okay. bin Al Hussein. Yes. He's being mentioned as a possible favorite in the election. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. Quickly, before we go, Seth Blather has been at FIFA for more than 40 years. He's been credited to really bring soccer uh, to, a, to a top level in Africa. What is his legacy at this point, especially as it pertains to Africa? I think uh, he, he has a very very positive legacy in Africa. Uh, under his leadership, the first World Cup was brought to South Africa in 2010, uh, largely due to Blatter, but also Nelson Mandela, the late great Nelson Mandela. So he's credited with, with that. Uh, he's also credited with bringing a lot of grassroots development programs to Africa and pouring millions of dollars 
into football development in the continent. So I think overall is his legacy is positive in Africa. Okay, well, Platini and Blatter are said to, to appeal this, and we'll see what happened with the appeal. Thank you so much, Sonny Young, for joining us today. Thank you, Lenore. <laughs> and uh, that was uh, Sonny Young, VOA's own uh, reporter on, on sports uh, here, analyzing the, the FIFA scandal. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1800 UTC. And in the mornings to Daybreak Africa between 300 and 600 UTC. Thanks for watching.